got you some footage for the Ta 154. This plane, it's it's real cool. Has two thirties, two twenties, four point oh. Spotted a B-25 trying to sneak by in the clouds down here. This plane eats bombers for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Just all day, all day, it just eats up bombers with these big cannons. It's also rather fast and it climbs pretty well. We have taken the initiative. Maybe best of all you can get an interceptor spawn to get bombers even faster. So uh, fly to the side here. I uh, don't want to get behind the bomber, that's always a bad idea. It's starting to get closer up. Minor uh, defensive fire coming back and crit him. He's on fire. And he's going down. There you go. Oh yeah, he gets the uh, base still, but all is good, love and war. So here I was uh, climbing back up the altitude. Lost a lot when I shouldn't have that bomber. It's rather decent fast, but it's not like notably fast. This plane, it's uh, premium. I forgot how much it was. It was 50% uh, off during the patch when it came out, which made it. Uh, I think it was like 650, um, I don't remember. Really cheap, picked it up, a lot of people picked it up. They were like, out in mass when it first came out. It's a cool plane, uh, user made. So I was planning to go for the Spitfire who was chasing enemy. I was concerned with the Corsair over there and the XB-55. And I noticed that there's another uh, plane over there. But it's good, because the Spitfire is not even closer. But always remember to uh, be wary of your surrounding. You can easily get killed if you're going tunnel vision. Notice there's a guy in my tail, and if I keep continuing to chase that Spitfire, it's not going to go well. So we enter a turn. He misses, luckily. I try to fly in the direction of allies. Call him out so people can take note of him. And I start uh, twisting side to side. This guy cannot hit the broadside of a barn. Or maybe I was just uh, getting lucky. I was flying through this guy, then I noticed that he's a bomber. He's also like a, a battleship, basically. Do a lot more twists and whatnot. Never keep a steady course. Then I noticed that uh, another Ta-154 had already uh, jumped on him. So I was going to go and uh, help him out. Notice that two guys jump on him. And we got a uh, another user-made plane in the fray as well. One of the Spitfires breaks off, so I'm going to go for the guy who was uh, closest. No, the oh, they're in a big old furball at the bottom. If you notice, this one Spitfire is behind everyone else. I cut engine power so I don't accidentally die. I think this wind brake speed is somewhere around 600 kilometers per hour. This guy, I don't know if he was doing it intentionally, but he led this guy straight up and bam, got him. Awesome. But the uh, the fun's not over yet. There's the Corsair on his tail, so I enter a large turn right here. Uh, start heading down. Corsair overtakes him. And I start following the Corsair. And bam. 
20s and 30s kill things fast. But now we have the problem, the uh, XP 55. And I tear my flaps right here, which is a uh, grave mistake that I suffer later. But he's on the tail of that 109. I try to face him. And he does his crazy UFO stuff. And I can't turn with him. I enter a large turn right here. I try to use my flaps here, see if I can get some turn out of them, but I can't. The XP-55 has terrible uh, turning in a sense that, like this, but its maneuverability is great. I think it, um, it's like something like 30 seconds to do a turn like this, but regardless, I'm un unable to get him on, get on his tail despite that. Uh, he takes out an alley right there. The enemy is attacking our base. We but luckily it also throws him off. I almost get some hits there, but nothing. At this moment, I notice I'm the last guy. And he starts shooting at me. Right here, I thought I was completely screwed. Because I can't outmaneuver this guy. And that UFO. But luckily, I notice an ally comes by. So when I'm going up here, I straighten out. And I know exactly what to do. This guy is focused on me. So I'm just going to fly straight and put some rocking in it. And uh, bait him. It's also great is that he's low on ammunition. If you notice that the, the uh, bursts that he's doing are rather small ones. So don't want to turn too much. Just rock back and forth. Keep him on my tail. And soon enough, the ally comes by. Takes him long enough. And as he forces him off me, and now there's two of us on him. Though I am rather heavily damaged. I go for an attack, and I realize just how terribly damaged my tail is. But that's no big deal. And I was going to go for another attack, but got murdered right there. So from here, I uh, head back to the base. And, unfortunately, I do make it completely fine. My engines are great, but I completely mess up the landing and get myself killed. Uh, altogether, this was a pretty good match. I got three kills, one bomber, uh, two fighters. Saying, well, I, I've, I've noticed that the cannons are rather hard to get on target of fighters, while bombers are easy because they're larger. But they uh, have a lot of drop, the, the, two of them being 30s, the other two being 20s. Typically, I like to have machine guns like point my uh, way, but you can't do that in this thing. But the cannons that you do have are rather good. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, don't hit the like button. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe. I like to make uh, news videos on the weekends, and when not on the weekends, I kind of just fill up with whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.